Hi everyone, this is Rishabh Chatterjee and in this video we'll be talking about the question where do you see yourself in the next 5 years? So we'll be seeing what is the thought process that you need to have when you are answering this question. So let's start with the question why is even this question asked? First of all, like might be that you might be thinking that why does the interviewer want to know what I will be doing for the next like after 5 years or next 5 years like I'm not even sure what I'm going to do now. Now also I'm kind of confused and how am I going to say next five years what is my plan? This might be something that you might be thinking but basically for the interviewer there are basically two reasons that the interviewer asks this question. Number one, the interviewer wants to know that whether you will stay in the company for long term or not. And number two, the interviewer wants to know what is your career goals because based on these two uh, areas or concepts, the interviewer will be able to judge whether to hire you or not. Now you might be thinking based on these reasons that I can give the answer like uh, this is the best role that I want to get. This is one of my dream roles. I want to stay in the same role for the next five years. I don't want to have much tension. I just want to come do my best work and go home. This is also an answer that you can give because whatever the interviewer is looking for, this is the answer that matches that. But no, that's not the answer we are supposed to give. Basically, the interviewer wants to know whether you are passionate about the job you are doing and whether you want to grow or not. And it's very important that you present it in the right way so that the interviewer can select you and gets impressed and select you for the next round. Now, there's a thought process that you should know before you start writing the answer for this question. Now, number one, there are like stages that I'm going to explain so that you get a better idea. The stage one is going to be about the first one or two years that you are going to be in this job. So in the first two years, you'll be talking about like your training. Basically, you'll be doing your training. You'll be learning about training. You'll be learning about how you are going to work in the team. You're going to support your manager. So this is going to be for the first two years. The third year will be something like you want to be the go to guy for that work, like whatever work you are doing. If anyone has any problem related to that work, they should come to you. You might also want to pitch in more or increase like in the training, increase your uh, contribution and also maybe pitch in few ideas. So this might be something that you will be doing in the third year. In the fourth, fifth year, you might want to implement the ideas that you are giving. Maybe do now training for new people, take on more leadership role, maybe make more important decisions for the company. So this is how you are going to frame this answer. Now, very important while making the answer, you might think that you might say for the first two years, whatever job you are applying for first two years, I want to do this third year. I want to do this fourth, fifth year. I want to do this. No, this is not the way you are supposed to give the answer. The year wise, I was telling you so that while making the answer, you can think clearly, but in the answer, you should just tell what you are going to know, not like say two years, I want to do this third year, I want to do this. So the framework should be this, but in the answer, don't mention the years and all, mention the work that you will be doing. All right. So this is the basic thought process, but maybe you might be thinking that this is confusing. How am I supposed to make this answer? I'm still confused. So in the next video, we'll be taking a look at few examples so that you get an idea about how you are supposed to make this answer. So basically first write down the answer, then make tweaks. And after that, try practicing telling the answer so that you get a better idea of the answer that you are going to give is going to be good or not. All right. So this is the basic idea. We'll see in the next video the examples. So stay tuned. And if you found this video useful, please do click on the like button so that this video reaches more people and also Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Follow us on Instagram at the Dioda, E D Y O D A. That's it for today. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye bye.